morning boys and girls. Most of you won't know me, but my name is Christina and I go to Elmwood GB. I know last week you looked at the story of when God chose David and how it doesn't matter what's on the outside, but it's what's in your heart that counts. This week we're going to look at the story of David and Goliath. Some of you might have heard this story before. The Philistines and Israelites were at war. They had set up camp either side of a, of a valley. David's brothers were fighting for the Israelites. They were in Saul's army. However, the Philistines had a much stronger and a much larger army than the Israelites. They also had many soldiers who were a lot bigger than the Israelites. They had one soldier in particular who was a giant. His name was Goliath. Every day, Goliath went out and he challenged the Israelites to send someone to defeat him. He was so confident that he couldn't be defeated. One day, while David was tending to his sheep, his father sent him to deliver bread and grain to his brothers, who were at the battlefield. David obeyed his father, and so he left his sheep and went on his way. When David arrived, he saw that the Israelites were very afraid, and he heard Goliath challenging them. David offered to fight Goliath. He wasn't afraid because he knew that God would be on his side. In the Old Testament, armour was used to protect yourself when going into war. They had things like helmets, shields, and swords. So when King Saul heard that David wanted to challenge Goliath, he tried to give him some armour, but it just weighed him down. So David went into battle with just five stones, a sling, and his faith in God. God did not leave him unprotected. We read in Ephesians 6, verse 14 to 17, that God says to stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. David may not have had the world's armour, but he was not afraid because he had God's armour. David knew that the armour he had on the inside was stronger than any giant that the Philistines could ever send. Goliath only considered the world's strength. He saw that the man who had come to fight him was young and had no armour. Yet, with God in his heart, David was able to defeat Goliath and the Philistine army fled. David knew that he was stronger than Goliath because he had God on his side. David used God's armour from Ephesians 6 to defeat Goliath. This is the same for us. God doesn't ask his people to fight in their own strength. When you have God in your heart, battles of faith are won by using God's armour. God has given us the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit to protect us. Through obedience to God and a belief in him, he will guide and protect us all. Thank you for listening and have a good half term. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm going to be going over today's memory verse. So let's read it all together. Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. So let's read that one more time. Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. Now as it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to cover up some of the words with some hearts to make it more tricky. So... Therefore, put full armour of God, so that when the day of comes, you may be able to stand your Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. Let's make it more tricky. So, therefore, put full armour of God. So that when the day of comes, you may be able, your Ephesians, verse 13. So we'll take off all the hearts and try this one more time. And I want you to shout as loud as you can. And I might even be able to hear you all the way in Ballandary. So, therefore, put on the full armour of God, 
so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Grace and today we're going to be looking at forbearance. Now forbearance is basically just a funny word for patience and if you're anything like me, you'll not have much patience, which isn't a good thing. So at Christmas time, if I get a present and put it under the tree, I can't stop myself from having a wee peek to see what's inside. In the Bible, God says that if we are saved, we should show forbearance towards one another, just as he has shown forbearance to us. So, your challenge for this week is all about rain, which we get plenty of. So next time you see it starting to rain, I want you to get a bucket or a cup and see if you have the patience to wait for it to fill with rainwater. Bye! You put the stars in other space You put the freckles on my face And all the fish that swim And all the birds that fly Were made from your incredible imagination Creator God We're singing to the Creator God Of all the world Creator God We celebrate you Stripes on every bee, and all the grass that grows, and all the leaves that fall are part of your amazing plans for this creation. Creator God, we're singing to the Creator God of all the world. Creator God, we celebrate you. Dancing done reminds us that we're made to be creative.